Claude just released their new MCP feature that allows you to create end-to-end -end workflows and AI agents from scratch using a single prompt. And honestly, it still blows my mind. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how it works, but also how you can set it up step-by-step -step within your own Claude and Anytan so you can start building AI agents in seconds. Let's dive in. All right, so the way that I would explain MCP to a five-year-old is we have an input, which is the uh, Claude. This is the assistant, the person that we talk to. This person right here is connected to an MCP, which is essentially a thing that is connected to different tools like your Gmail, your calendar, your Slack, your documents, your edit and in this case. And if you give it an input, say, hey, can you send an email? Can you create an edit and workflow? Can you do this for me? What it will do is it will then send a request. So it will send a notification to this MCP hub, which is connected to all these apps. And based on the input that you give it, it will then take action on the thing that you want it to do, right? So it could be send an email, it talks to you here, and then this is connected to your Gmail. So it actually sends an email, right? Without you having to go into Gmail and do it yourself. And that is the same thing when it comes to N8N, when it comes to Outlook, uh, Calendar, Documents, Slack, everything that you have, all the different apps that are connected to the MCP. All right, so here I have the Notion document that we're gonna use to follow the whole process step-by-step step to connect your cloud to the MCP of N8N. By the way, if you want this document along with other resources so you can set it up step by step, make sure to check out the first link down below. All right, so step one is installing Cloud on your desktop. Press this button right here, which will take you to this page. You can then install it based on what um, you know MacBook you have or what computer you have. In this case, it would be Mac OS. You then have it downloaded, open it, and you will see a page that looks like this. Now all you have to do is simply install it here. Now, when you get to Cloud for Mac, you wanna press get started. Then you can sign in. Make sure that if you already have an account on the cloud version, use the exact same account. If not, you can make a new one. In this case, I'm gonna sign in with Google. I'm gonna choose my account. Continue. And now I can see that I've been logged in into Cloud right here. Skip. And this will now be your interface that you will use to then set everything up. The next step once you have installed Cloud into your desktop is to install Node.js, which is a thing that sort of allows us to be able to run the MCP. You wanna press get Node.js. Make sure you press Mac OS or whatever MacBook or whatever computer you use, make sure you choose that one. Um, leave everything else the same and press Mac OS installer. You will then download the Node.js. Now, once you've installed the Node.js, you will have this page right here. Just make sure to follow the instructions step by step. Press continue, continue, agree. And you wanna press install. I already have it installed, but it's two more clicks and you're good to go. So make sure to have this here. All right, so we've finished the first two steps, installing Claude and the installing the Node.js. The third step here is to set up the Anytan MCP. So I'm gonna go to this page right here. Now this right here is outlining basically the steps that we have to do in order to install the Anytan MCP. Um, and there's a few ways that we have to do this or we can do this. Uh, in this case, we can choose to option one because it is the latest, the fastest, and no installation is needed. So it is the one that we're gonna be using today. Um, and what you wanna do is you want to be copying this Right, and make sure again that you have Node.js installed onto your system in order to do this. So copy this and make sure to open your terminal or command line if you're on Windows. So go here, look for terminal, and you'll have a page that looks like this. Make sure to then paste the 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 command that we um, copied from the GitHub. And now, for me, it looks like this. But for you, if it's the first time that you paste this, you will have to put Y. So just put Y and then press Enter, and then you will see this right here. As you can see. Now we have the NTN documentation MCP server is running, which means everything is good. All right, so now that we have the MCP running, uh, we have to now add the Claude desktop config. So this is basically saying, hey, let's set up the, the actual MCP on our MacBook so it's able to run on Claude. And we can do this in two different ways. We have the basic configuration, which is basically saying, hey, we have the code. So Claude, we give the Claude the, the instruction, so make an AI agent. It then gives us the code then we have to take an action of copying the code and then go into N10 and then importing it and having it there. Or we could do the full configuration with the N10 management tool, where we basically say, hey, make an AI agent, and then it gives us a link. So the outcome or the output will be a link of an N10 workflow that we can just press and have it automatically installed to our N10. This is obviously much more convenient. So it is the one that we're gonna be focusing on today. And all we have to do here is press copy, go back to Claude, make sure that right here, as you can see, I have no connectors. So we're starting from scratch, which is exactly what you should be seeing. And if I go up here and make sure you're going up here, not down here for settings, to Claude, go settings and go to the developer. Now you wanna press edit config. When you press edit config, you will come to this file right here. Now it might get a bit technical, but trust me, it's actually much more easy than you think. Uh, you just have to paste the code that we had on GitHub to here. So just open this in a plain text editor. 
and you'll have this one that looks like this. And all you have to do here is just delete this and paste this here. And the only two things that we have to um, get is the Anytan API URL, right? And the Anytan API key. Now these two things are very important because they are the things that are going to allow the cloud MCP to have access to your Anytan account to be able to then make the AI agent and give you the URL without you having to copy and paste the JSON and then import it into your own Anytan account. It will make much more sense once you actually do it, as I don't worry. But the first step is to get the API URL. In order to do that, you have to go to Anytan workflows and you can find the URL right here. So in the URL, the first part, right? The first part here, this is the Anytan URL that we're gonna use to then paste in the code. So just copy this and paste it here without the slash. And the second thing is the Anytan API key. In order to get your API key, all you have to do is go here, settings, go to Anytan APIs. And in this case, as you can see, I already have the API keys that I've made before. But if you haven't made one before, just press create an API key, name it whatever you want. Let's do Michele, Anytan YouTube tutorial. And you can put an expiration date. This is basically saying, hey, how many days do you want this to run? Now, because this is a very sensitive API key, as in the API key is the thing that if someone has access to, they have access to your whole account. So expiration is basically being safe. Uh, but once you have 30 days, once you put 30 days as the expiration, make sure to go and update the time to something like 60 days or 90 days. In this case, let's just put 30 days. It doesn't really matter. The scopes, you can, um, yeah, you can't really change them because you have to upgrade and press save. And now you have the API key. Now, as you can see, I'm blurring it out because it is one of the most important, if not the most important API key in NN10. Copy this and then let's paste this right here. Okay, now we have this whole JSON, which is a thing that now we can just press Command S, just save the actual file, right? So that we're able to then go to the next steps. All right, so now that we have this, all we have to do is actually go here and quick load because it's not gonna be able to read our config file and we have to reopen it again. So once you reopen it, if you go down here to this button right here, you can now see that you have the Anytan MCP, which is connected to all these different tools, right? Which are all for Anytan. And this was only done if you refresh the actual page because now we added this JSON into the actual file that's connected to Claude. Okay, if you follow this step-by-step, step, you get to a point where you have this. Now you've successfully connected the N10 MCP to Claude right here. And if you press enable all tools, now you're saying, hey, the uh, Claude instance has access to the MCP of N10. And these are all the tools that Claude has access to. So delete execution, you can do list task, get note for task, list AI tools, list nodes, get nodes, right? You can do a bunch of stuff to then make the actual AI agent right here. All right, and the last step here is to make a project in Claude. Uh, and this right here is only for paid members. So you won't have access to this, um, to projects if you are on a free plan. Um, but if you are on a paid plan and you're paying for Claude, amazing, um, make sure to go to command F and then look for Claude project setup. And this right here is an optimized prompt that you can use when actually making the workflows in Claude, right? And the way that it works is that you can just copy this. You can go to projects. You can create a new project and call it Anytan MCP and just put project to project for Anytan agents and workflows, create project. And now for instructions, this is where you get to paste this prompt right here. Now the benefit of having a project rather than um, just talking to a new chat is this will have, this will be better over time because you will give it more and more context, but also um, right here, if you were to use here, you would use the exact same prompt. So I said, here's a prompt to create an NTN workflow. Um, please let me know once you go through it and ready to proceed. I'm gonna paste the prompt right here, right? And then I can press go, right? But the problem with this is that this has to be a new conversation every single time. And if I just go to my project right here, it's just one click and then MCP. And I can have this right here and I can have all the agents and workflows that I'm working on. All right, so actually going through it, I realized that we can actually also add some extra stuff. It's sort of like you have the Iron Man suit and then you add some extensions that allow the actual MCP server to be much better when writing code. And so just follow me through. Uh, the only thing you have to do is really just when you have the document, which you can find down below, you have to copy this part right here, just this part, right? And make sure to then go to the code right here that we have. And then you want to delete these, press comma, and then you can paste this right. All you have to do is delete 13, 14, and 15 right here, and then press enter, and then you can paste this code right here and press save. And everything else is the exact same. Just make sure you have the API key and you have the Anytan API URL. And as always, we have to refresh Claude to make sure that we can actually see the changes. 
I'm gonna go here and press Claude quit. And I'm going to reopen it. So now if I go here, I can now see that I also have the context seven and the N10 workflows documentation. And these two allow Claude to be that much better at writing code and being able to have the documentation of N10 as context when giving us the automations and the AI agents. And now onto the fun part and the reason why we're all here, it took us a while, uh, but is to actually go to the project itself. And if you don't have a project, again, just paste the exact prompt, this one right here that we pasted before. And if you have the instruction, you can follow it step by step. And now I'm gonna give it a full prompt so you're able to see exactly how it generates the workflow or AI agent that we tell it to. So what I'm gonna do is paste this prompt right here, which is a prompt in Markdown format. So the first thing we give it is a goal, uh, create an N10 agent that acts as my personal productivity voice assistant. This agent will receive a voice note that I send via Slack and intelligently decide which tool or service to use based on the content. It should then do X, Y, Z. We give it a trigger. We give in the agent setup, the tools, the outlook, the to do it, the workflow structure, and that's it. I'm going to press enter. As you can see now, the cloud instance is actually looking at the nodes and what node it should use for each step of the AI agent or workflow that we're using, which by the way is actually insane because <laughs> this is looking through all the documentation and everything about N10 in general for it to be able to actually uh, make the N10 AI agent. As you can see now, it's also making the structure for the AI agent. And now what it's doing is it's creating the code for the N10 AI agent that we're going to use to then give it to NITN. You can see it's writing it step by step. And now we can see that the NITN or the cloud right here is starting to think about the documentation. It's gonna map out everything that it needs to use, every single node, every single step of the automation and the AI agent that it's gonna make. As you can see here, now the cloud is writing the code that we'll then use to be able to make the AI agent and workflow. Because by the way, everything in NITN, make.com, Zapier is JSON in the backend, like all of these our nodes are different steps in N10. All right, cool. So we can see that we have the full code that Claude generated for us um, for the N10 uh, AI agent. And we also got the link, so direct link to your workflow right here, which you can then press. You can then copy this, right? In this case, I can open link. And this will bring me to a workflow like this, where we have all these different items. And as you can see, the reality is, right? Unlike what most people tell you, is that this isn't perfect, right? It gets you to a point where you are able to, to have a structure for the automation itself, right? because you do have the first nodes, the second nodes and so on. And these are actual things that we have to do, which is amazing. But something like an AI agent router, the Todoist add a task or the Outlook that isn't even here or the Trello, which isn't even here. Um, I just wanted to show you the raw version because that's exactly what it looks like and what it is. And so now what we have to do, of course, is to check it. So you still need to be able to have that sort of technical expertise in some sense to know exactly what, if this is a problem, right? Because I know this isn't what we're meant to be using because I know N10 and know how to build automations and AI agents. So this doesn't completely dismiss the fact that you have to know how to use N10, but it gives you a starting point that you can start with, uh, especially because something like this would have taken you one to two hours, uh, sometimes even three hours, four hours to think about. Uh, but with this right here, it gives you a starting point, which is already good enough for us to be able to then do something with it. And now assuming that these are actual things that, <laughs> that the AI agent can be connected to, all you have to do now is to make sure that you can connect your um, credentials right here on Slack, OpenAI, obviously it depends what software you use, uh, open over here, Slack, Todoist, and so on. Um, and once you have that, then you can obviously make sure that the, the workflow is all good. You can test it and then you can launch it live. And by the way, if you want the full document on Notion, uh, giving you the step-by-step -step guide as to what you have to follow, uh, so you can follow along with me on this video and also the JSON and the prompt that I gave Claude to make the AI agent, make sure to check out the first thing down below, which will take you to my free school community right here. Make sure you go to Classroom, templates vault and you will see the latest video. So let's say it's an AI proposal generator system. You have the link to then download um, the Notion document or to have the JSON file and the prompts that you can then use to start making your AI agents from scratch. And if you apply and you get in, you also get access to the AI automations one-on-one course, which is a very, very comprehensive guide that takes you from a real beginner in AI automation to someone who's able to build automations for themselves or for other businesses. All right, so now you got to see exactly how to set up your MCP within Claude so you're able to generate NITN workflows and AI agents within seconds. But I wanted to be completely honest and tell you that this isn't perfect, right? This is a starting point. Of course, it's amazing that it's able to, to do these things and it still blows my mind, right? But at the same time, just understand that this is this doesn't replace the whole NITN automation industry. Like you still have to sort of know what you're doing because 
I knew that there was a problem there because I already know how to use the software, right? And of course, it's gonna get better and better and better over time, I don't dismiss that, but just know that these softwares aren't 100% perfect. They get you to a point where you're able to get 30, 40% there, but you have to be that person that can get yourself to that 90 to 100%. And one of the other misconceptions that I hear all the time is, hey, Michele, I mean, we have this MCP that can generate workflows in seconds. Why can't a business owner just generate workflows and AI agents for themselves without having to ask you. Well, the problem is that business owners don't have the time to even set up the softwares, to make sure to validate the actual workflow, to validate the agents. They don't have the time. That is not something that will change right now or in the future. So these tools, these softwares are for us to be able to make automations, get ourselves 30 to 40% of the way there, but we still have to have knowledge to get ourselves to that 100%. And if you liked this Claude MCP feature video, then you're gonna love this video on the screen right here, where I show you exactly step-by-step step how you can set up your own MCP within ChatGPT that talks to over a thousand apps. With that being said, I hope you found value from this video and I'll see you in the next one.